These are 14 of the newest Xbox features that you need to know. Recently, the Xbox dashboard got a revamp. It is very subtle and more changes are coming very soon. However, the major features are the new search bar and also the quick settings. Both of these are located in the top right corner of your screen and you can scroll up to the search bar or just use the shortcut Y on your controller to open it straight away. Now the next feature isn't exactly new, but it has been expanded upon with some new enhancements. Your Xbox has always been able to control certain aspects of your TV with HDMI CEC. A standard feature for this was automatically turning on your TV when you would start up your console. However, you can now change your TV's volume with the audio and music section of the Xbox guide. But first, you will need to enable it. Go to Settings, TV and Display, then Device Control, and select Console Sends Volume Commands. Your console will then restart, and boom! If you press the Xbox button on your controller to pull up the guide and navigate to the Audio and Music section, you will now see buttons for you to change your TV's volume or even mute it. Alongside the release of the new Xbox Series Elite 2 controller, Xbox decided to unlock a feature that nobody knew even existed for years. Inside device and connections within the accessories tab, you can now customize the color of the Xbox button on any Series Elite 2 controller. Now, it'd be really easy to assume that this is just a brand new feature for the new white controller and all the models it just doesn't exist on. However, on my Halo Infinite controller that I purchased last year in 2021, this feature still works without any problems. This whole time, the Xbox button on our Series Elite 2 controllers has been RGB, but we never knew it. Currently, this doesn't work on the regular Xbox controller, which brings up the question, are these also using the exact same RGB LED, but Xbox just hasn't unlocked it yet, and will they maybe do this in the future? Let me know what you think down below. One of my favorite features is the new startup mute options. Now that we have the super fast boot up screen that has dramatically decreased the time it takes to jump into your favorite games, with that has come this massive sound effect. It completely rocks the house if you've got a full subwoofer and even a surround sound system. Not ideal if you want to play a late night gaming session without waking up the entire house. But now you're able to customize your settings so that you can mute all sounds when you start up your console. If you go to profile and systems, settings, general, volume and audio output, additional options, and then select mute startup sounds, you have the ability to control the startup audio, but even the power chime if that irritates you as well. Making a console your home Xbox gives your friends and family access to your games and content when you're not signed in. This is a great way to share free games within your close friends group and also access your digital games when you're offline and not connected to the internet. But there are some new additional settings to this so you can have a bit more control over what people can and can't access on your account. This next one was already a feature, but Microsoft has made things a little bit easier for people to understand. You can now configure your Xbox Series S or X or Xbox One console to use different power modes depending on your preferences. Standby has been renamed to Sleep and Energy Saver is updated to Shutdown. To see the power settings on your Xbox, press the Xbox Home button, open the guide and select Profile and System. Then go to Settings, General and Power Options. Speaking this is also a great way to save some money on your electricity bills. Another change to an existing feature is Xbox Pass Keys. Your Xbox Pass Keys and Guest Keys add an additional layer of security to your Xbox profile. But Xbox has updated the names for these from Xbox Pass Keys to Xbox Pins. You can use your pin on any Xbox console to limit access to purchases and also parental controls. Keeping your Xbox controller updated with the latest firmware maximizes your controller's capabilities and also compatibility. Every month, Xbox update these and add new features and bug fixes. This is how you unlock the RGB lights on your Series Elite 2 controllers, especially if you bought them before 2022. You can update your controller wirelessly or with a USB connection, and it's definitely worth doing from time to time to make sure any glitches or stick issues have been removed. The Xbox mobile app, if I'm honest, is something that I've never really used, but with this latest update, I'm kind of tempted. If there's an epic gaming moment that you want to share and capture, now you'll be able to trim the length of your Xbox game clips within the Xbox app on Android or iOS. To get started, go to Library, Captures, and select any of your clips. You'll be able to adjust the start and end length of the clips and then share those with your friends. Now that takes Xbox Record That to a whole nother level. Xbox Record That. This feature is also available on the Xbox Game Bar for Windows 10 and 11 users on their gaming PCs, giving you instant access to widgets for screen captures and also sharing all without having to leave your game. You can now directly import any clips you've captured with the Xbox Game Bar to Metal.tv where you can then edit, post and share your favorite gaming moments. 
every single one of us have that friend that just completely destroys the quality of our party chats. Well, thankfully, Xbox has now introduced party chat noise suppression. Inside of your party options, you now have the ability to enable or disable noise suppression, which will help remove noises like gamepad clicks, breathing, and also background noises from your party members. Another tweak to the Xbox dashboard is the new game library. It has been fully revamped, making it much easier for you to see all of your games and apps. The My Games and Apps full library view has been redesigned to streamline access to all games you have available to install and play. And in addition to this, the All Games view now shows all of the games that you own, as well as any games that you have access to with your current Xbox subscriptions, including Xbox Game Pass, EA Access, and your games with gold. And on the topic of managing your installed games, there's also new storage settings. You can now select different installation locations for all of your games and apps on your Xbox consoles. In the settings for your storage devices, select Change Installation Location, which will provide you separate default installation paths for different types of games. You can manually select specific drives for the types of games and apps that you wish to install, or just use Let Xbox Decide, which will automatically find an appropriate location for those games. Discord coming to Xbox has been a much anticipated feature. With this update, you can now chat with anyone on Discord via voice channels or group calls directly on your console, making it super easy to connect with your friends across mobile, Xbox, and PC. Right now, this feature isn't perfect as you have to sort of transfer the call from your mobile device over to your console. However, Xbox have announced that they will be creating a way more native experience in the future updates. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. But if you want to see 27 of the greatest Xbox hacks, you should check out this video next where I destroy my console.